Ahoj, krásné studentky a krásní studenti. Vítám vás u nové lekce. Pokračování nesnese se se sestrou, tentokrát část druhá. If we were to rewind a just for memory, a the definition, a reflexive verb is a verb using a reflexive pronoun and a reflexive pronoun is a pronoun that refers to a noun or another pronoun within the same sentence. We talked about how Czech formed these reflexive verbs. So we have the verb and then we have the, uh, the reflexive pronoun and we have two options or the short critic form se and si or the longer form, the full form, sebe and sobie, or sebo, and I would like today to talk about the long form. The question is when we are using exactly the short form, the critic form, and when the long full form. So the rule is quite simple. The short form CNC will be used only for prepositionless, accusative, se, or dative. Si. Also, they can appear if there is within the same sentence another pronoun, sam or sama. Sám, sama. Example. Stará se sám o sebe. And when the long full form. Sebe, sobě, sebou. It's the same pronoun. It just has three different forms because of the declension. So let's have a look on the full form of the reflexive pronoun which can appear in its three mutations sebe, sobě, sebou. In the part one of Nes Nesese se sestrou we were also talking about the pairs. So you remember that uh, se and sebe is one pair and si, sobě is another pair. Sebo is alone, it doesn't have a mate. So, se, sebe, it's the pronoun, reflexive pronoun, critic or full, in the accusative case. Whilst si, sobie, is the dative and sebo it's the seventh instrumental. So let's see it differently from a different angle. Genitive sebe, dative sobie or se, we know this. Accusative sebe and se, locative sobie and instrumental sebo. Sis and says, let's put it on a side for now and let's focus the attention on the cases. We can see that there is no nominative and no vocative. This is normal since it refers back to the subject. Let's have a look on a table uh, where you will discover how the declensions work together or the conscience available for this. The genitive. Sedíme vedle sebe. Sedíme vedle sebe. Vedle, it's a preposition which requires genitive. Dative. Si sobě. Jak se k sobě chováme? Jak se k sobě chováme? K is 
a preposition which in this case requires the dative case. Accusative, neznáme sami sebe or poznejme sami sebe. So here we have the insertion of the pronoun sam, sama, I said sami, which is a plural without the insertion děláš to hlavně pro sebe. Pro requires accusative. This is why I will put the pronoun, the reflexive pronoun, full form in the accusative. A locative Řekněte nám něco o sobě. Řekni nám něco o sobě. Co to máš na sobě? Co to máš na sobě? Na requires locative na sobě. And instrumental prosím jednu kávu. Tady nebo sebou? Tady nebo sebou? Because s requires instrumental. And to resume, uh, in Czech we have uh, two kinds of reflexive pronouns. The short clitic form, se si, the long full form, sebe, sobě, sebou. The clitic forms are available only uh, for sentences where the verb doesn't require a preposition and when the declension comes in the accusative or the dative. For all the other situations, we will use the full form of a reflexive pronoun, which comes in three variations, depending on the declension, on the case they are in, sebe, sobě, sebou. And please note that the genitive and the accusative are the same in the long form, sebe, sebe, as are the dative and the locative, sobě, sobě. Krásné studentky a krásní studenti, I hope this will help you to understand and express better the reflexivity in Czech and in the third part of Nes Nes Sestro. I will treat about the specific form Ses and Sis and other little things which we couldn't talk about in a part one and two because I believe that for now it's more than enough. Mějte se krásně a brzy nás.